It was a chilly March evening in 1997. Phoenix residents were about to witness something that would change their lives forever. As the sun began to set, a cluster of bright lights formed a massive B-shape in the sky. The light shone so brightly that they illuminated the entire sky, leaving onlookers speechless. Hundreds of people saw the lights hovering silently above the city, and they reported their sightings to the National UFO Reporting Center. The mysterious events quickly became one of history's most well-known UFO sightings. Fife Simonson, a former Arizona governor, revealed in an episode of UFO Hunters that he had also seen one of the UFOs during the incident. Simonson was irritated because the U.S. military refused to give him any information about these strange lights. And he wasn't alone. Many others were perplexed by what they had witnessed that evening. Years later, the government issued a report on unidentified aerial phenomena, but it made no mention of the Phoenix Lights incident or whether aliens were involved. The Arizona Republic reported that the lights were most likely military flares dropped by the U.S. Air Force during a training exercise at the Barry Goldwater Air Force Range. Regardless of the explanation, the event cemented Arizona's reputation as a UFO hotspot. The Phoenix Lights incident was composed of two distinct events, but they were both caused by the same organization, Operation Snowbird. The pilot training program run by the Air National Guard out of davis Monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona. The two sightings were caused by A-10 Warthog planes flying together at high altitude, according to James Magaha, an astronomer and retired Air Force pilot from Tucson. The first incident began around 8 p.m. and was caused by five A-10 jets from Operation Snowbird flying in a designated air traffic corridor. Because FAA rules for private and commercial planes do not apply to military planes, the A-10 formation had steady formation lights rather than blinking collision lights. The planes flew over Phoenix before continuing on to Tucson, where they landed at davis Monthan Air Force Base around 8.45 p.m. The second incident began around 10 p.m., and it was caused by an exercise in which different A-10 jets from the Maryland Air National Guard were also participating in Operation Snowbird from davis Monthan Air Force Base, dropping flares. The U.S. Air Force said four A-10s dropped slow-falling, long-burning LUU-2BB illumination flares as part of a training exercise at the Barry Goldwater Air Force Range in western Pima County, Arizona. Phoenix would have seen the flares, which appeared to be hovering due to the heat of the burning flares causing their parachutes to blow upwards, slowing their fall. The lights then appeared to go out as they vanished behind the Sierra Estrella Mountain Range southwest of Phoenix. Those who witnessed the event, on the other hand, describe it as a breathtaking and surreal experience. The bright lights formed a massive V in the sky. They hovered with such precision and purpose, it was difficult not to believe in extraterrestrial life. Some even claimed to have seen a black triangular shape connecting the V's five lights, adding to the event's confusion and mystery. There are several theories regarding the actual cause of the Phoenix Lights. As stated initially, the U.S. military claimed that the lights were caused by flares dropped during the training exercise. However, many were not convinced by this explanation, claiming that the lights they saw were too large and too stationary to be flares. Some even claimed that the lights could be seen for hours, and that's kind of unusual for flares. Another theory is that the lights were caused by an aircraft formation, possibly of experimental or classified military planes. However, this theory is unproven and heavily debated, even despite the press release from the U.S. Air Force. Some skeptics believe the Phoenix lights were simply a mass hallucination or misperception caused by natural phenomena, such as a meteorological event or atmospheric reflection. Whatever the explanation, The Phoenix Lights remain one of the most famous and mysterious UFO sightings in history, capturing the imagination of millions of people worldwide. These are Interesting Things with J.C.